Well, it's <laughs> it's nine. No, oh, it's ten o'clock. Ten o'clock in the morning of the sixth. And um, learn it again already. Let's go have a look. So we're going for just a little brief walk for a coffee down the street to enjoy what was a fabulous start of a beautiful 29 degree day. <laughs> and hello fellas. Done it again. Our government can't guarantee us fresh air. We can't guarantee them any tax, surely. <laughs> the campanologists are at it this morning. On a day that was promising to be a beautiful clear blue sky. <laughs> They've been at it already. Uh, <laughs> We're supposed to be grateful to this government that have given us two, day, two days off. I think the people have had two days off all around the world by the sounds of it. It's Monday, bank holiday Monday, the 6th. And they're choking us to death again. Absolute bastards. Here's the, um, look up above here, the, the, these um, sort of pulses in these clouds here. That was a big long straight line a bit earlier on. I might have a bit of footage I've already taken. Anyway, campanologists. <laughs> See if I can get up there. It all happens up there. It was a doozy. There we go. Here's the local church. Unfortunately, I have to wait. Until they finish, and I'll go and see them a bit later. Now I've been invited up there, but I think that sounds like a serious. Um, that sounds like a serious attempt at uh, competition uh, practice. It's a ten-bell sh church, and um, normally there's six or eight, but the ten and twelve-bell churches are used for competition amongst the bell ringers. Uh, I'll attempt to go up and show you. Um, on my way back after my coffee so we're at it again our clouds are being interfered with and it's so sad because <laughs> only in so much as people not realising it <laughs> I've got a few friends I had a friend ring this morning and he said David I can see what they're doing he's about to go out with the kids and so he's getting angry himself uh, I suppose if you tell enough people enough times, it might sink in. I'll show you the one above there, look. You see the one just above the house? It's really awful. Really awful. But it's a bank holiday. And um, I'm going to make this a short video. Maybe come back with a few bells later on. Uh, let's have a look at the sky. See what we got happening here. They're a bit relentless. The wind's coming up, and I'll show you the little spread we've got behind us here to the, uh, to the east. We're on my way back. <laughs> See what's uh Well, I might just sit and have my cider first and and uh, see if we can catch them towards the end. Don't really hear it enough. 
Oops, Daisy. A little favourite seat just around here. There is chap while mummy's sitting next to him. Don't have Listen to the composition bells. Do you mind if I sit here at all? Thank you very much. That's a nice rhythm. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Have you done any rebuilding at all? Uh, I did a couple of years ago. I had one daughter and just a lot harder than what you I've I've been invited up there because I live just opposite and yeah. um, to have a go, but I actually haven't been well. I think you've got to be pretty fit, I've been told. Yeah, that surprised me. <laughs> Just be a matter of just pulling it and that's it, but no, it's, uh, you, know, you have to put a lot into it, and yeah, it can be quite a wrench when it's yeah. back up again. Yeah, yeah. It's certainly, going training for it. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's, I wouldn't say it's, it's very skillful, but there certainly is some sort of skill to it. I think. Mm. Yeah, I mean, to, to put all that together, it takes a lot. I was struggling with one bell, and it's like ding dong. Yeah, they got. I, don't, they, I was the campanologist came in and moved in round to the street that's at the end of the pub there and he's a professional bell ringer and he wants to join them and, uh, and when he was stood outside listening to a wedding a couple of weeks ago he was uh, saying that um, it's, he could identify how many bells were actually ringing there yeah he could, and, uh, and of course he's he got the names of the various rhythms that they have too and, uh, uh, once, the same time I had it was about three years ago and uh, I said I had to have an open day and they have a little market stalls and that here. And you see, one of the, one of the things you could do was go upstairs and then try and have a whole building. And yeah, it's certainly, it's certainly nice. I, thought, I didn't think it was easy, but I certainly thought it would be a lot easier than what it was. I'd be up there now, except they've got a notice on the door that they're actually having a practice, so they don't want to be disturbed at the moment. Hi, guys. Well, the uh, the bell ringers are finished, so I thought I might go and see if I can't, uh, I can't <laughs> count them and ask them a few questions and maybe get up there before, we, uh, before they pack up. I have to turn up, turn the camera around, I realise. Anyway, look, it's turned out to be a, still a beautiful day. We were spraying earlier. Sort of say there's sort of hints of what they were doing earlier, but nonetheless, it's a beautiful day, currently about 20 degrees thereabouts. Just that's it, glorious day. Tradition of the, the uh, where the preacher stands there. You know, the Thank you. 
Yes, he's right for telling him about me. Apparently there was a local amongst you. Is, which one was that? It's No worries, thanks. That was good. It was very enjoyable from the scent. Oh, good. It was, yeah, it was very good. One of, one of the people here is a local. Oh, uh, he's still up there. Okay, well. Okay. Uh, what's his name, if you don't mind me asking? I don't honestly know. Okay, there you go. Okay. They sounded good too, by the way. I really enjoyed it. Oh, thank you. That's good. I mean, and I live over there. It's not that. <laughs> All right. Well, it's nice to have people living close to the brew, isn't it? Well, yeah. <laughs> no, it was very tight. It was great. Good. Are you the local? Yes. Oh, there you go. Just going on a bit of a... My name's Dave Mowen. I live over the over right. road here. Oh, right. Okay. I've done for about the last year or so. Uh -huh. A year and a half. Well, a year now. And um, I, was, uh, I was invited to come and do some practice building. Well, is there a, I think his name is John Middleton. It's an old chap. Hatfield. John Hatfield. John Hatfield. Very yes. young. When is that? When does he do his do his Monday uh, night? Thing? We ring Monday night, seven thirty, but not tonight because it's a bank holiday. Right. That sounded um, great out there, by the way. Yeah, the it's a visiting band. Um, I'm not quite sure where they're from, actually, but it, it, it was. It sounded lovely. It was noticeably tired. Yeah. yeah. It was just wonderful. Yeah, so um, I sort of do a bit of YouTubing, and uh, <laughs> I've not brought any of my people that uh, well, a few people that watch my channel down uh, inside uh, the local uh, church. Yeah. So, but I was planning on taking him up there, but I think I'd rather do it when John's up there, or and, yeah. and I can, uh, I can, uh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, maybe bring a decent camera if, if I'm allowed. And yeah, of course you can. Yeah. Anyway, can I put you on camera? Yeah. Uh, well, anyway, look, there's my name's David, and again, I'm Anthony Cole. Anthony Cole. I'm nice to meet you, here. Anthony. Yeah. Well, if you don't mind, I'll come and join you. Yeah. <laughs> sometime yeah, okay. soon. Thanks a lot. Uh, <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. Well, there we go. Okay, I said, I'm over here just at Hampton House, so I just live. Well, let's just take a Hampton House. Hampton House. Yeah, the green one. Right there, the, the first big, green one. Big green one, right. No, 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 that's the lines next door. Hampton House is the, the green one, I suppose, the green of the two. They were particularly good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we always try to make it sound good. Yeah. Anyway, it, was, it was the evenness of it. There was a really good rhythm to it. Yeah, well, they're, very, they're used to ringing on 10, and we rarely get right. chance to ring on 10. <laughs> we, we're generally ringing 6. You have uh, there's, uh, there's a new pilot. I think he's a pilot. His yes. name's Ian. Yes. He's joined you, has he? He has, yes. Um, <laughs> he's out in Kazakhstan, I think, this week. Oh, that's right. Yeah, look, he's... Uh, yeah, I, only got not, to me. I don't think he's a pilot. I think he, he works for British Airways, but he's a ah. he's a technician. He looks after the aircraft. He was here, and um, he was obviously he's got the ear and everything. He could tell you how many bells were ringing exactly up there during a wedding a week yes. or two ago. Yes. Yeah. Well, thanks very much. Right. Pleasure. Look at this day, folks. Absolutely wonderful. <laughs> Glasses. <laughs> oh, got them. How many? And, uh, so, hey, 
this is the old rectory too. Mm -hmm. house is the old, old rectory. I must have uh, put these bins away. Put them nice and Wendy lives. She has a key to my place and when I am a bit sickly or something like that, she comes out with a little check on me. This guy's done a nice fresh paint job on his place and I absolutely adore it. <laughs> and so I know somebody else would absolutely adore the colour of this place as well. Isn't that right? <laughs> Wonderful. So I go back inside like I said yesterday where it's it's like this. Local pub. Bit of blues music every now and again. Just a bit country too. <laughs> they play both types of music. Both <laughs> country and western. Done that one. All right. Out with the lousy jokes. And so. <laughs> Yeah, so that's the streetscape down here. Look, the, um, the church is obviously preeminent in the hall of the, oh, the Thatch Cottage, which is quite a. This end has got a con. That that's there is a. It's a convent. It's a huge building. And, uh, yeah, it's up to sale. <laughs> I didn't attempt to put it in an offer. So they were looking for somebody to buy the place. You keep all the nuns in there. <laughs> I'm going this way because and this lady is a, a lovely KJV lady who's name okay, I forget at the moment. We do occasionally on the street. I got to speak to her the first time just the other day. A lovely house. And so this is the rear of the convent. Um, and of course you probably recognise this from maybe another video, which is walking up to my so the rear of the convent. Um, the rear of the convent joins my property. So if you have a look there, it's the stuff there, the sort of studio we had. And then I left these new doors open on my face, which I don't have the key to get in. Yep. That's good, I locked them. <laughs> Go back round. <laughs> I suppose, really, I'm sort of keeping a bit of this video going because I know that there's uh, one or two that appreciate scenery, I think, round here or <laughs> the type of village it is. Mm, close by Oxford. And, um, it's rather quiet in that respect. It's very peaceful today. Very peaceful indeed. I've eaten just here a couple of times. Which obviously says a, says a lot for me because I eat I eat at most times, most meals. The thing about this place is that the foods are so picking. I've actually got to go to the city centre of Oxford to, to farewell. <laughs> yes, this is a cell rectory there. There's a lady called Ina there. Love the old dear. No way. The Lord just challenged me. 
tell it's Jonah. I've got to go there. Give her the words. the wrong for the day but I'm happy to report that most and as I say that look over here I say so most what's up there is normal they just keep reminding us that they're still there hey eh? folks well this is the uh, this is the workroom <laughs> there's not a lot of work going on there at the moment there's a few mandolins that are nearly finished and uh, need my attention and uh, Let's see what else is here. I, I pulled one out the other day to give it the finishing touches. Let's see if you can see it from here then. Let's have a look. Maybe it is if you need to see it. <laughs> Big split. And it's a really nice job of, of having gone all the way through. Um, but really, it wasn't far off being finished. I didn't have much more to do on that. So it'll take me a couple of hours to put a new top on it. Anyway. So uh, I think I can carve one in an hour these days. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so, but uh, of course, it's got to be unglued and uh, re-glued. But look at the day. Look at it. It's, uh, <laughs> well, can you see it? In fact. I can't help but put a smile on my dial. It's wonderful, isn't it, eh? Absolutely wonderful. <laughs> I know someone would like the colour of that couch, would like the colour of that guitar. It's a lovely instrument. More to look at than to play, but it's, uh, well, something out of it. I think you like that one, don't you? <laughs> 